Uh, he replaced with Berserk now. I know. Honestly, the Behemoths don't actually kill that many birds. I expected at least like 25 to die here, not 15 or whatever. Oh, wait, it was 63, right? So he killed 20. I mean... Blocks the gate, takes hits here still with the dragon. I think it kills a lot. Doesn't try to hit there though. 58? So it was 15. No, 16, something like that. I don't know, man. Can you just win me in 1000 ELO? I <laughs> suck, but with your power. <laughs> Listen. I'm just good at the game, okay? <laughs> I can predict people losing into winning. I'm just that good. S s take it or leave it. <laughs> If I predict a loss, it's a win. If I predict a win, it's a loss. It's that simple. What if you have Titans instead? Would that be better? I mean, with the, with the amount of max treasure, yes, actually, I actually think he was able to double build Titans pretty easily here on week 2. So yeah, most likely better. He could have waited 2 on 1, have like 30 Titans. That's quite the insane army there. <laughs> yes, we'll have to take. I don't know, man. I mean, look, I, I still don't understand why Easy didn't just rush with golems from this position. I don't understand why we took the late game approach there. It's... I still think Berserk turn 1 was better. I still think waiting for the gate to open was a lot better instead of whatever the hell he tried to do there. Like, he could have just frenzy hit and probably killed Behemoth and Bird's turn in two turns there. And then he still had like four sacrifice stacks available. On my bet by going against your tip on who will win. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. You, you are welcome. Alright, game two. Five minutes, sure. I don't know. I did not think Dream Hunter had the way to kill that, that many Nagas there, but I mean, in the end, he won on mana, technically. Like, he actually won on mana. I do think if Easy had full mana there, he was better off, right? But uh, I wonder if he misplayed because of it, because the thing is, he was supposed to attack straight away from North Town into a library, right? And then he reaches middle with like 250 mana. Instead, he stayed outside two turns before attacking. So he reached middle of like 160, or less even, or whatever he had. Because uh, he wanted to attack on week 4 there. He could have taken the he could have taken the 2 on one as I said. I, I really feel like Nagas were just better army growth than the birds and behemoths there still. I, I really do think attacking 2 on 2 there as red was better for him. He was getting another 20 Nagas. He had over, over 80 probably at that point. He had all the dwellings, right? So he's getting like 11 per town or something. And then he can probably attack with almost 300 mana there, especially if he has like a Thunder Helmet before going. Defense seems to give good value versus Nagas. Defense should have never been relevant in that fight though, because of Frenzy. I've said this before, if you have a stack that's Frenzyable, you destroy. You kinda just destroy, but... I, I don't know, it's just like a weird style to, to play that fight. Low mana teleport in, like you cannot frenzy, it's it's just so many things that went wrong there. <laughs> it's just so many things that went wrong there. Can frenzy against ancient behis though? Mm, that is incorrect. It's the other way around. You cannot frenzy ancient behis against nagas because they don't actually gain any value since they ignore defense anyway. However, Ancient Behis do benefit from defense. So if you frenzy the Nagas, they will hit much, much harder. Then. When do you play? Uh, tomorrow. This is my game versus Reni. 
But yeah, one zero for uh, Dream Hunter right now. Interesting. The detail needs to be detailed. <laughs> Mm. Can frenzy against two because the minus defense applies before the frenzy buff. So you gain less plus attack. Frenzy against ancient bees. The buff will not correctly work when hitting. Don't know why. Mm. I wonder how relevant that is. Did I have a game with tower versus stronghold lately? I wonder. Anyway, we can check that, can't we? No, we can't. I was thinking that Fizzy's game, maybe I can get Nagas, but I can't. I mean, I can get anything. He had Diplo. This is the game where the opponent had Diplo or I had Diplo, I guess. One for two, okay, interesting game incoming. Oh wait, I have, I have Behemoth here. Let's see how frenzy he does. Alright, let's see if it's true. So let's say this kills 600 to 8. Actually, wait, no. I need to see the damage after shield. Let's do it on what? Let's do it on like the wyverns. So it's 42515 1. I want a 7700 1 2. I mean, it doubles the damage almost, but yeah, it's quite relevant, huh? It still applies a lot. It doesn't apply too much, however. Interesting. Kind of buggy, huh? Yeah, the difference on every other stack is pretty heavily influenced. Here. Interesting. Okay, what uh, what version are they playing? They're playing P and uh, I think someone said 1 for 2, right? Looks like they're playing Rampart versus Conflux, so a very tempo match actually for a 1 for 2. That's quite interesting. They banned Necro, one of them. Going pretty high on the trade here as well, P version. I guess Conflux was really good compared to Rampart. It only increases the 20% attack skill and each attack skill is 5%. This plus 80% damage from friends until on average. Yeah, yeah, you're correct then. Kira now says Dream will be <laughs> gonna have third game funk. <laughs> it's ignoring 80% of defense, you only get 20% increased attack. Yeah, I guess I guess it just works backwards too, huh? As, as I said, it's still higher, so it's still probably worth doing, but it's interesting nonetheless. <laughs> to one question mark to two. <laughs> this is a uh, quite awkward trade here. Same issue with Nyx, they melt to frenzy. Yeah. I guess it applies the buff backwards as well. It's 60% extra or something. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just weird coding there. Probably buggy coding too, but. Oh well. I believe this was like 3.5k for the town. I'm assuming they're betting for Conflux and now they're going 2 point to color. I wonder who won the town bet here because that might be a really minus 7k or something for easy if he does that. It's because of the sequence at which damage formula is computed. As it applies after creature abilities. Yeah, 
I bet you're not supposed to ignore your own defense. That's the thing. <laughs> like the behemoth basically ignores its own defense when it gets attacked. It doesn't retal, especially to a naga, right? It shouldn't, like it should never have the passive in play if it doesn't even retal in the first place. That's kind of the whole point there. Is debating Torgrim or Euphratin? Interesting. But uh, for Sfinal Carol, one for two, I believe. Probably P version, considering that's what they picked here. Anyway, he goes Monerere for uh, minus 5.2k gold. That's quite a bit. What the fuck is he actually lost? Yeah. Little P strong Rampart? No, no. Rampart was pretty average, I would say. Conflux is definitely better here, but. On a 1 for 2 Finalka, though, I'm not sure. Like, Conflux was better because Phoenixes were insane, right? He had like 6 dwellings, too. He had boxes, everything, it was pretty good, but on a 1 for 2 Finalka, you might not get that in time. So, I'm quite curious to see who's winning this. I feel like Aeris might actually be advantaged more by the Force Finalka fire timing, because, you know, you can break pretty easily with Force Field. So, yeah, I missed the end of Finalka. Well, didn't miss much. <laughs> it did not miss much. Anyway, game two is starting. Easy starts with uh, Air Elemental Diplo here. That's pretty good for him. Dream Hunter starts with Dwarf. Dwarf is future. Not very happy about it, probably, but not the worst bunker here. Has a very nice sawmill with a lot of wood, too. I would assume he probably one-on-ones this. I mean, you definitely want to have elves here. Or he's trying to. There's multiple one-on-ones too. And he does go for the one-on-one. -on -one. Second one is center captain. Probably better. That's good speed as well. I would like for him to upgrade the centers right away here, of course. Which he doesn't, weirdly enough. Picking that scholar was potentially good too. Uh, well, he starts with a dragon ring already. That's interesting. Meanwhile, Izzy has fire elementals here. Not the best bunker, honestly. Hmm. I mean, Diplo's kind of bad. Yeah, he won on once. The gold man was in an awkward spot. I don't know if he sees all three scrolls. The knowledge was kind of... Eh, because the well is the wrong side. And he does roll sprites here. That is a very good Diplo. Gives you speed in town for a while until you get the university too. He actually picks up the wood even. That's kind of interesting. I don't think it's very necessary if you get the sawmill alone. Then Dream Hunter does roll Grand Elves. That's amazing for him. But he kind of has to skip the hut because it's in a bad spot. Which is not amazing. But and I'm going for it, I guess. Doesn't. Also lower all the amount there. I think he got 14, right? Yeah, 14 is one of the lowest amounts of elves, actually. You can get up like 19, even 20, I think. That is rather bad. Delete the center to make faster. He has a badge of courage as he's starting Arty here. What uh, they play and miss it. They're playing a 1 for 2 P version. Rampart versus Conflux here. Wait. Then... Easy is going for pretty much all the mines by the looks of it. It's a bit of a weird way to play this matchup, honestly, because you're kind of looking for tempo, not mines here. I mean, it is one for two, right? I didn't see it myself, I just saw someone saying it in chat. So. Let's have a lot of XP. Wow, what the f Yo, that is like five level ups here in like two, three hundred moves. Jesus. Holy, that's amazing. That is amazing, actually. Then Dream Hunter goes, picks up the army, doesn't upgrade the elves here, surprisingly. He has a lot of gold, I feel like it's kind of worth. He has a sawmill already, so he can probably afford it too. Leaves the doors behind, picks up the last knowledge, I guess, sure, and leaves on day four. Let's have a very nice elf dwelling here that I would like for him to pick up. Which he doesn't. 
Yo, these are some premium elf dwellings though. You should really should have picked them up. Looks like he's skipping this comfy town. I think he was probably able to build here, especially if he goes for this into like the ore pile, stays here, grabs our fair and then leaves. It was kinda good, but didn't bother. Cause he knew. Hmm. Wrong everything. <laughs> Wrong everything, man. Alright, there we go. Castle middle. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's seen on easy stream here. Does this nicely enough as long as he fake breaths or he kills already as well, that's pretty good. And he does. I wonder if he did pick up everything here. Probably did. Gets main town as well on day 5. Very nice tempo still for easy. Even though he went for mines there. Actually surprisingly good. Very very nice tempo here for him. Ooh, oh my god. Okay. Okay buddy. Roll scouting into fucking... Jesus. Take the wheel. <laughs> Can you predict streamer so I know to bet opposite? I... I mean, it's only because Kira has a little pepek. Listen, you did the predictions, I just took the last one and I started it. I don't know the timer, I can't see it when I'm in Streamlabs, so... You're pepek, not me. <laughs> Premium biome, yeah. Is he lost the game into high rolling? <laughs> oh no, 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 don't say it. I'm not gonna say shit. All right, you know what? Uh, Ren is winning tomorrow. <laughs> That's what we're saying. Look how much he's, he's hyping up. Easy should be good bet on Dream Hunter. Yeah. Guys, listen. Ren is definitely winning tomorrow. Okay, definitely. I, I never lied to you. <laughs> Uh, it's not a prediction, that's just a fact, Kappa. Mm -hmm. Definitely, man. How much Renny paying you? <laughs> I've been known to pay Duck at some points in life. So. 0 0.50, wait, why do we have a ladder? <laughs> the fuck? Okay, since when do we have the command? <laughs> but yeah, Dreams is going for some levels. Looks like he's going for the second comfy town. I guess the buyer fair. Some levels there. Got a nice dwarf box. Easy uh, is doing something, something not found here. We never let you hear the end of it for a while. Yeah, well. Sure you want. I know what this was for, but minus all army for ice elementals. Eh, kinda eh. Kinda eh. I don't like the eh. Did he buy her fair by the way? I think he did, because he has like low gold. It's very low gold. Eh? Could also get the dwelling there, that's pretty good. Anti Berserk, completely wasted, nice. I'm fairly certain the dwelling is better than whatever he wants to do right now. For uh, Comfy Monair, feels like sprites almost more valuable. Yeah, I don't I don't prefer ice elementals here almost uh, ever. Unless you get like five boxes, but even then it's questionable. Even then it's questionable. <laughs> okay, does the fight nicely. Picks up XP, grabs Earth. Doesn't get a dwelling though, like... 
I don't think it was worth doing it this way. Why not do it the other way? You could get the dwelling twice here. That was way better. I think that was way better. Now he gets into town, sure, but... Misses out on a few units here. Yeah. Let's have stables ready already. Let's have expert Loga. He only picked up Earth, not Air. So he should get advanced Earth next turn, most likely. Eh, not bad. Still a very good start for him. Meanwhile... Treasury. You know how treasury... There's almost no mana though. No, it's 1 for 2 and castle mid. <laughs> well, it is 1 for 2 and castle middle, so there is a way. <laughs> Actually, th there is a way, but it's exactly that. I guess he's next to town, he doesn't really need mana here. Hmm. Hmm. Nice to done fight though. Grabs this pretty easily, picks up, ooh, six crystals. Damn, that's a lot of crystals actually. He could build Pegasi, maybe double build even this week. Mm, sure. Hmm, he actually does. Interesting. <laughs> I was joking, but sure. <laughs> Find some boxes here, has a decent amount of gold as well. He can afford their Fener probably. Not the worst start either for him. As long as he gets an elf box, basically he can probably break. He has the Pegasi, he can upgrade them too, so he has Speed Prime most likely too. Not that bad, huh? Then Easy is going for a minimum treasury here. Not a good size for him right now because he needs a lot of XP. Only if I have knowledge right now. Pretty much free fight. Doesn't get a level up though. <laughs> has an XP shop in Bion. <laughs> Not terrible, I guess. Uh, goes for the zombies. Doesn't. Finds a free break on the psychics, though. That's pretty good. Okay, nicely done fight here, grabs this to get advanced turf finally, so he can stable up as well now. So yeah, we actually have a 1 for 1 stable expert Loga with sprite speed already. Damn, that is pretty damn good for easy here. He's gonna have a lot of tempo now. Into quite a premium biome too. Easy, uh, I mean Dream Hunter is gonna have to find quite a way here to step up a little bit. I don't know what this is for, but he is bleeding a little bit of army here. He's bleeding quite a bit of army here, though. Man, minus half the army, actually. <laughs> Why did he not upgrade the Grandels yet? That's... Okay, gets Expert Air and Advanced Turf and the Pegasi box. Not... not bad. Has a lot of boxes with a library here too. Pretty good. That is pretty good. Upgrades this, gets speed now. Has a lot of army now as well. Uh, sure. This is quite a few Pegasi dwellings. We could actually see a Pegasi gameplay here. He double built from week 1, he has boxes too, so... And has many dwellings too. This could easily be like 100 plus on week 3. The tower as well for easy. I mean, he has phoenixes anyway, he doesn't care too much. But yeah, that's a pretty good red tower here, actually. Does he go for it right away? This is a big one, he probably doesn't want to. And chooses to skip it entirely, sure. I mean, as I said, he can just pick up a phoenix dwelling, right? Like, he don't care about red towers that much. He's comfy here. I 
it's a nice moral cutter, doesn't lose any sprites, gets advanced there as well, so I guess he bought there too. He's kind of broke though. I'm not a big fan of the fact that he's broke here, but I think he might still make it to the town and back. Uh, Drake and Sung, thank you for the follow. There's a pretty big Naga bank here, that's very nice for him resource-wise. Meanwhile, I guess Dreamhunter noticed that it's Castle Middle as well now. Look at this skill tree though, jeez, he even had Loga there, wow. So wait, they both have like insane skill trees here already. They both have like expert air, expert scouting Loga on 1 to 2, I believe. Yeah, 1 to 2, wow. <laughs> that is, that is impressive. That's actually very impressive. Especially from both players. Morales, but doesn't block, that's not terrible, I guess. Well, there's quite a few sprites here, but again, maxi treasury. I mean, almost a maxi Naga Bank here, very nice money. Finds a premium, wow. Wait, this right here means he could connect with middle in one turn, like easily. Wow. I wonder if he realizes. I don't even think it's worth picking the town up. Okay, it's not amazing, but it's with extra moves even, isn't it? No, 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 don't do the Naga Bank. Is that extra moves though? It's not, I think. Uh, no. I mean, one, two, three, four. It's still like plus 400 moves almost per, per day if you stay there. Which is kind of nuts, but. Okay, there's another Naga Bank. Uh, we could actually see angels being built on week two from easy. That would be quite something too. I wonder if he understands that he can do that. Building angels into like upgrading super early here could be a play. He's gonna mage guild here. Doesn't have any mana anyway. Makes sense. Then... I wonder what he does. Could simply pick up the Lion Shield and break. Could get a couple more boxes, then break. I don't believe he found... Okay. So one has a Lion Shield, the other one has a freaking SOJ in Bioman. <laughs> hey, this looks like my games now. Nice. I like it. People won't call me high rolling anymore. Dreamhunter has like no boxes to go for though. That's a little rough. And uh, two out of two petrify so far. <laughs> He's still in this tournament, of course. Of course. So this in last game, so someone have a big item in biome, other have two. No, it's not the case. He's winning the tournament. Man. <laughs> I shouldn't say that because then I'm not, but like, of course, man. <laughs> That's a water tom as well. Water tom is one of the best things for Rampart, by the way, because uh, if you have a lot of dwarves, prayer plus bless is amazing on them. You can even do Utopias for free with a uh, clone there. That's another big treasury. So, this is going to be pretty much all the level ups that Dream needs. He's going to have expert air, expert earth after this, most likely, and yeah. I honestly think if he finds even one elf box, he can break with like SOJ already in like two turns. That would be nuts. And I do believe he's building towards tables himself. He will be behind two or three turns, but it's still in time. Which is uh, good enough. That is good enough. Gets some nice morales there, loses only two dwarves, gets potentially water, but he skips it. Doesn't have expert earth yet. Uh, but yeah, looks okay. Archangel main break is not what you want to see here, though. That's a really big fight for two boxes, by the way. This is elves plus something almost guaranteed. Or maybe even Pegasi plus elves or something like that. That would be nice. That would be very nice. Ooh. Easy picked up the Lion Shield already. He did pick up the two boxes up here by the looks of it, too. Uh, what does he do next? He's thinking of breaking the Nixes already, huh? But he has like no army, man. 
actually has like no army though. Alright, he smacked his keyboard or something and then his camera <laughs> What? Why? <laughs> Why is he mad? Is he mad about the box count? Because Dream Hunter doesn't have any either. Anyway, let's see the boxes, I guess, for Dream. He has some really nice turns here. Anyway, it was actually Pegasi plus Elves, wasn't it? Wait, what, was, what was that? It was definitely an Elf box plus, I think, Centaurs, maybe? is now going for the dwellings too so this is a pegasi centered game interesting that's a very nice box again all right i mean i was saying easy has like a super high roll biome but this is maybe beating it even holy shit that's uh that's a lot of things now all of a sudden with an soj on top of everything damn son Minus 3, not very worth, plus 30, never mind. Please pick the spell next to you, thank you. STP, not great, but still fine, kinda. Does he still have a DD left? He does. That's kinda nice, gets another box here, and oh my god. <laughs> Yo, this dude went from fucking 10 L's and 20 Pegasi to 100 Pegasi and 150 L's in like one turn. Two turns, but like, huh? 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 It's one to four, my friend. And he has an SOJ still, so it's you cannot hire all more than this. Okay, Easy found a break he could do actually. And picked up the library too. So Easy is just going, going for it. Full YOLO here. Going for the full YOLO here. Very nicely done fight, of course. SOJ Lion Shield and Water Tom for both. Yeah. The high roll is real. Split Pixies. Half stack one taps. Yeah, well, I mean, it's 17 attack with expert offense and a pretty healthy amount of Pixies still. That does make sense. Is maybe because he saw Dream near break? Nah, I don't think that was the case. Okay, Dreams, by the looks of it, is going for tempo as well. So he's picking up the SOJ now. He is blue though, so Easy will be in desert like one or two turns earlier here. But honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he breaks next turn. Uh, Dream Hunter, that is as well. I wonder through what. He could break through the Nixes here that he sees now. Gets water anyway. Doesn't choose to go towards the Nixus, so maybe he doesn't break here. He could simply break through the library, right? Like, that's a very solid play as well. Just breaks library and then goes up. Um, looks like he has stables ready too. Another big box there too. My god, this biome is amazing. Like, every single big box was next to the road here. <laughs> I mean, this this is one of the best biomes you could ask for for Rampart, straight up. Look at this army, it's 1 to 5, man. Oh my god, this is like 150 Pegasi almost on 1-3-1 one, one here. Jesus, and 170, 60 else here. Wow. Wowza. 15 genies, 40 elf, makes sense. 35 magmas, 20 Pegasi. You're like, what the fuck? It's uh, the way it goes sometimes, man. Could do Utopia for free as well with this amount of Pegasus right now. But yeah, Easy is going straight to middle by the looks of it. Dream Hunter will see this. You'll we'll probably see the stats as well. Like, those are some insane stats, honestly. Grabs boxes already. Easy punishes him. I mean, how do you punish that? Like, Dream Hunter right now is miles away in army ahead. Is he cannot punish that unless he has like two Archangel boxes or something? I would really like for him to build uh, build angels this week. Imagine uh, you see your opponent with half, was with half as many Pegasi as your sprites. <laughs> gets uh, gets archery actually. That's very good for 
for this scenario. It's very, very good for this scenario. He's picking cave dwellings. Interesting. Does make it to the town. At least I think he does. Does. There's markets too. He's trading gems. No, don't trade the gems, man. Uh, he's not thinking about Archangels, I guess. I really feel like that's his main win con, but... He's going calves, isn't he? Yeah, he's going calves. He's actually building calves here, not angels. I don't like that. I I mean, eh, it's not good enough. Like, he's gonna have 10 calves. Who the fuck cares about 10 calves? And that's a completely free break for dreams. Who I don't know why he picked the fucking dwarves with him, but anyway. Let's pretend he didn't. <laughs> he fucking one taps everything. <laughs> It doesn't matter what he does, it's, it's insane. Fucking insane army. Legit. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, that, that was a break. <laughs> that was a break. He skips water, I mean, he skips archery there for water. That's not what I think he should have been doing, but sure. How the fuck did he get 100, 100 freaking dwarves as well, man? More. <laughs> I mean, he could just push, like, he has a what? No, I don't think he picked up the water tom, actually. He does have Protair. I wonder if it would be enough. I mean, stats are very similar, right? Because one has SOJ, the other one has Lion Shield. They both have the library, I think. I do think uh, Easy might be a little bit ahead because he has some extra artifacts, but... Oh, he, is a, he even has a copy, actually. I don't think, I mean, uh, like, he really needed to build angels here, man. I don't understand what these plus three calves are doing for him at all. He had pogs as well on the road, that was so good. Ah, that would have been so good. He has almost the entire dragon father point. <laughs> Wait, that's a shit ton of dragon father pieces, hold up. It's like six already. What if? What if he does it? Goes for both? Nah, he can he can no longer build one here. It's an air tome, that's quite relevant. Well, I don't think he'll go for it, but I... He stays here, interesting. Mm -mm -mm -mm. When he's in desert 1 to 5 and ahead, he wins 99% of the time, so this is for him. You are aware that both opponents are in desert, 1 to 5, right? And Dream Hunter has like 5 times the army that the Easy has. I mean, he might be reachable. Oh my god, wait, there's a fountain on the way too. He's sitting very aggressive right now. Yo, will he go for this? He doesn't. Ah, I think he was actually reachable though. He needs Bless, man. He needs Bless and Shield here badly. Kinda badly. You wanna risk it without air tom? I don't know if it's that simple, but... Like, your opponent is red as well, he shouldn't shouldn't have a lot of mana here. Is he pushing already? I think he's just looking for something. Could get summons into... Proter, he has Proter already. But I feel like with this many Pegasi, you don't care. You just push and you win on army every time. He has equal stats and he has like fucking five times the army, man. Oh, and he sees an Ertom. Yeah, no, he stays here. That, no, he doesn't. Wow. He really doesn't. I guess he's going to take the Ertom next turn. Stable plus all the army and then attacks with that. Would you? I was probably, I was probably attacking here. If I if I view Earth and I see that I reach, I was probably attacking there actually. If like the road goes towards me, right? I have a fountain on the way, I just double DD on the road and I attack him here. It was pretty close. He's like right there to this. 
right? It's reachable most likely. When you have this much army in biome, I feel like it's free. Plus, you know your opponent doesn't have a lot of mana here. Like, it was 90 mana for easy. You shoot with Legolas. Yeah, like you have Protair as well. You don't care about Ertom with this kind of stats too much. It's 16 power after all, right? So. I was, uh, I mean, as I said, like at the very least, I was view, view Earthing there to see if I would reach the road. If I feel like I do, I'll probably try. This is a lot of army that Izzy is picking from his opponent right now, though. It's 50 zealots with archery. Pretty damn good power stack all of a sudden. It's a pretty damn good power stack all of a sudden. Throws away the calves. Nice. Yeah, not bad actually. Not bad at all actually. I don't think this road was uh, reachable even. If he stayed in the proper town but didn't stay in the castle town there. Hmm. I mean, look, you know it's castle middle, right? You know you should never let your opponent stay in this middle for longer than a couple of turns here. So there's no reason for him to be a, to be passive, right? He, he, he goes here. Come on, he goes here. He goes without bless here because he's Pepeg, but like he goes here, right? <laughs> there's no way, man. I don't believe it. Archery! Ah! What are you doing? He's freaking out a little bit because of timer though. He doesn't go here? What? Bro, you're playing one for two anyway. Attack. You have a fucking free win. What are you doing? Like every turn that goes by, it's just free army for the opponent at this point. You're not getting better as Rampart, you have all the boxes, right? So it's beyond me why he doesn't push them. I would have stayed aggressive even last turn for the Erto. He wants third game, apparently. I mean, this army is getting pretty ridiculous from, from easy though. If he gets like two more zealot boxes, I think he evens out the army and then he has better stats because Moneri. So, yeah, Dream Hunter's play is going worse and worse by the minute. But maybe he has an idea to attack in one turn. I do think the roads are reaching. He could stay next to a rally flag potentially if he has a good one. <laughs> this price really hit for a fucking shit on there. Really do shit. It's got a lot of devils. Gets an angel box. Wow, that's very good. That is very good, actually. Lose plus copium. Yep. And 1 1. I mean, it's still close, I think. Izzy doesn't have an Ertom yet, he skipped the he skipped the Phoenix Ertom earlier. I do think he can still reach it, but if he does, he will have no mana trying to defend. So if Dream Hunter pushes now, he might be in trouble in terms of spells. Still. And angels don't give him speed prior. Pegasi are still faster, by the way. That was protecting an angel box, how <laughs> ironic. Yeah, well. Alright, he's going again. He skipped the crown like five times already, by the way. I don't understand why. But uh, let's pretend he didn't. What? Swordsman. There's the tabard as well. There's an interference ring and a nerf tome on the way to middle too, which is pretty good. 
Still doesn't have Bless or any Water Spells really. That could be relevant. It really could be relevant here. It's Monks as well. Okay, he does sit aggressively here. So this is what he's fighting with. Pretty insane army, honestly. With an Ertom, with good stats too. He has Ring of Speed, yeah, but the Pegasus are still faster if uh, the other one attacks. He's not actually going for the Air Tom. Oof. What is he doing? Never mind, he finds a fucking other one. <laughs> just, just be good at the game, man. It's that simple. Going for Grail, obviously. Not only he finds an Ertom, he even finds a Kairos here. That is pretty amazing for him. But I don't think if he gets this, he's gonna have any mana left. I don't think he has enough moves, does he? He doesn't plan to defend, I guess. Yeah, he doesn't plan to defend. Firebook, please. Yeah, might later on. You know, Dreams attacks him. I think his plan is to actually attack back with Archangels and uh, and the, the the spring that he has. It's a free attack there. If the row connects from the right, at least. He has a lot of boxes here too, which is a good play. Probably wins on it too. This Russian player is very submissive against Dream Hunter. I mean, you could say this is a sub submissive playstyle because you're running away, but it's not really the case. This is a good play from him right now. He has low mana, he cannot really defend without. And then he goes back and upgrades Archangels here by the end of the week. Then he attacks with Archangels. The spring that he has is a free attack anyway. It was a battle to win the war. Yeah. I mean, Dream could also build Archangels, so... That could be a play from him. Ooh, that's a couple of Titans. That's a couple of Titans. Just, just a couple of them. I mean, he lost like 30 elves here, that's not even worth at this point anymore. F. F. Okay, 20 elves. Gets champions. Let's have an anti-berserk here, but he chooses to skip to reach the town. Sure. Does still reach the town though. Easy saw the insane amount of army though now. I guess there's no reaction because he turned off his camera though. And yeah. Dreams is in the middle town now. And I think he still has enough for uh, Archangels actually. Four, five, six, seven, yeah. By the end of the week he could get Archangels too. Let's see. Is he picked up another Zealot box? He does get a Fire Tom as well. Interesting. And he gets a golden bow even, damn. So he's just gonna have golden bow zealots. That's pretty strong. And are you playing tomorrow? Then again, it's only 70 zealots so far. Like, he needs to find at least one or two more boxes to be on par with 150 elves and 200 Pegasi and shit. I don't know. Doesn't have an error B there. I wonder if he's gonna actually stay for the spring play there. He does have angels and archangels a lot faster. It's by three turns or so faster right now, so. 
Let's see. Is Dreamhunter gonna understand that he needs some Archangels of his own? Looks like he's building Cav upgrade. I mean, better than nothing. Finds a Lion Shield here too, which is pretty good though for him. He didn't have one. Then he can also get an error there. That's also very good. Okay. Does get archery in the end too. So now I'm assuming he's probably going to look for a golden bow as well. Drops the vial, I guess. Elixir could be insanely influential too in this fight. Because it's a very early fight, right? So whoever gets Elixir is likely the other one won't have it. Uh, I'm not sure how many pieces he needs of Elixir still. He finds a golden bow here. Doesn't seem to want to pick it yet. Grabs the Pegasi only, goes back and defends. Sure. His stats improved a lot this last turn though, so that's really good for him. That is very, very good for him. Can I build castle yeah though? But yeah. Let's see if one of them manages to find Elixir or not. He's still going for boxes right now by the looks of it. Seven angels. Can upgrade to Archangels too in like one or two turns? Didn't pick up any dwellings for angels though. I think he only has one. So Waiting the whole week here is not going to be very relevant. Let's find another library that's massive. That's I think called three already. Pretty good for him. And uh, yeah. Damn, these zealots really do a lot of damage already though. Gets calves there. He was probably looking for angels to be fair. Finds the elixir pretty much, but might be too late from this point. He actually does have a ring of vitality there next to the Utopia. I wonder if Dream Hunter is gonna try to do the Utopia and seize it randomly. He could. I mean he kinda has everything too, plus ring of speed. So he will go first most likely. Scopium here is going to be good enough. Damn, it's actually such a close fight. I really think it's going to be a very, very close fight here. Finds a ring of life. So he's one of Elixir now. Oof, that's rough, man. Will he go to the right, though? It's on the road and it's pretty close to the road there, too. It's a lot more boxes here as well. Pretty good result, actually. Does it slightly better, even. Very bad Utopia, though. That was a missed DD. Top mistake. No, why would have top be a mistake? Perfectly fine. It's more swords, man. Can grab this box too. Zealots. Ugh, not what he wanted here. He doesn't throw the calves away. Okay. He does go for the castle. But he has like no markets though. Okay. Top of Fire Tom too, so he has Sacrifice now, that could be relevant as well. Um, but yeah, he doesn't, I mean he sees a lot of Ring of Life, but he doesn't see the Ring of Vitality. He was actually so close to getting Elixir here, that sucks for him. But he was going to lose Elves, now nah, with the kind of stats he has, it doesn't matter, anyway. it's like 10 Elves at best. Um, skip the Golden Bow there, but I guess he already had it. Finds another 10 Calves, that's pretty good. I mean, the amount of boxes that Easy managed to pick up in middle here is actually nuts, considering the timing. Finds an SOJ too, I'm not sure if he had one already. It's really good. Did upgrade the Zealots. Holy Zealot damage too. Five more Angels, oh my god. I mean, yeah, okay. I, I think this kind of seals the deal even. 
This might just seal the deal even. But he is up. Wait, he's reachable, I think. You see? It's kind of on the road. There's Loga plus tables on both of them, so this is as fast as you go. Yeah, you are 100% reachable, my friend. Eh? Hold up. Can I. Wait, he misequipped too. Oh my god, he stays with Copium. Yo! He's going for it, right? He's going for it. Easy! No way! If he's reachable, ay, 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 ay. Easy. No way you just threw this like that. No way he just threw this like that. I'm fairly certain he's reachable. He is! Oh no! <laughs> Bro! Like you had everything in life, man! Oh, why, 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 why would you do that to yourself? What a throw! What a massive throw! Oh no! He was winning to 12 Archangels next turn. Ah, why would you do this? <laughs> what an absolute throw, though! What? Even if he upgrades the Archangels and then stays aggressive like that, he probably wins just Prot's air. He had a one turn round to attack as well with the Spring. Oh my god, he just... Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Yet. What on the way from Archangels, like, like... Yeah, I don't... <laughs> Dude, we've seen like five games in a row now where people just throw their wins out the window. What are we doing? <laughs> Is he would 100% win? <laughs> We're still correct on every prediction. Let's go! <laughs> oh my god, he actually just, he, he just does that like that. Like, the road was perfect as well, it was obvious he would be reachable or very, very close, but you should never ever risk that, man. That was just, just throwing. That There's no other words for that, just throwing, man. Oh my god. Look at this army, if he just upgrades the Archangels, he goes first, better. My stats, he has Golden Bow with Archery too, and... Like, I don't know. I... Jesus, man. He even had Elixir too, because he sees the... He sees all the pieces, I think. He even mis-equipped, like, he didn't even have Proter. He stayed with fucking Copium. He stayed with Copium Goose there, so he had nothing to even work with. <laughs> oh my god. That's unlikely, unlucky, and everything else. And yeah, now he just attacks with 15 Archangels. All he needed to do was just not throw. <laughs> Mickey learned it at some point, you will too. Even if I make up dumb shit, it's always correct. Just like you're always incorrect. <laughs> Listen, I'm not incorrect, okay? It's just the opposite. Ta-da! <laughs> If I say something, just think it's the opposite. It's that simple. Ay, ay, ay. I can't believe he lost this, though. This is like... I don't even... We're at like five games where I feel like they should have never lost and they managed to lose. This is legit impressive. I don't think I was ever losing this game from, from Izzy's perspective here. He high-rolled everything, man. I mean, Dream Hunter had Harold everything too, but. <laughs> oh my god. Oof. Big oof. But yeah, I, I guess we I guess we're done, huh?